I'm going to show you how to convert any video to a GIF format, and I'll show three different ways to do this. First, I'll show you how to do this in Adobe's video applications. Then, we'll go over GIF exports using Final Cut Pro. And lastly, I'll show you a free option that will work with any video type or editing software. And as a little bonus at the end, I'll show you my personal favorite for making GIFs, which in my opinion is way better than any of those three other options. Let's look at the Adobe workflow first. I have this little loop here that I want to convert to a GIF. The easiest way is to send your video to Adobe Media Encoder, which you can then use to convert it to a GIF. You can also do it in the latest version of Premiere, but After Effects does not have this option built in. So this will work with your Premiere or After Effects projects, or you can drop an existing video into Media Encoder. And there's our looping GIF. One thing I want to say is that GIF as a format is pretty outdated. It's popular, but the compression is pretty rough for any video footage, and the file size gets out of hand very easily. If you need looping videos for websites, for example, WebM or even Basic MP4 is often a much better alternative. Anyways, moving on to Final Cut Pro. You can't make GIFs inside Final Cut, but you can use Apple's compressor for that. Drop your video in, use the animated image template, and that's it. Again, you can kind of see how the image quality suffers when it gets compressed to a GIF, but I know that sometimes people just really want that GIF. Not my favorite, but like Tony Soprano used to say, what are you going to do? If you don't have Final Cut or Adobe apps, there's an easy free way to make a GIF. You can go to a website like Jiffy.com, upload your video, and it'll convert it to a GIF. The problem with these websites is that you'll have to upload your video to their site. And I know sometimes you might be working on a project where you don't want to share your video assets publicly. For that, I have another solution. Jiffy offers this cool desktop application that you can use to capture anything on your screen to a GIF format. Download it and use it to capture your video into a GIF. I'll show you the process here, and it's pretty easy. The way it works is that it'll give you this transparent window you can adjust on top of your content. Hit record, and then switch back to the application where your video file is, and hit play. I'm using the spacebar to start my video, since I don't want my mouse cursor in the final GIF. Once that's done, I can trim the beginning and end of my take, making sure it's a clean loop, and then we can save our GIF. Again, a couple of options here to change your loop type, frame rate, and pixel size, but overall the options for quality and compression are pretty limited. Lastly, you'll have the option to upload this to their site, or just save it locally. And there's our GIF we made using free tools. Look at that beautiful loop. Not bad, huh? Before we wrap it up, I want to show you my personal favorite. This is an After Effects plugin called GIF Gun. I believe it costs $40, so not the best option if you're just making one GIF, but I've worked on projects where I was requested to make a ton of GIF files from existing files, and for that type of stuff, it's perfect. It also gives you a pretty solid set of tools when it comes to controlling the compression, image quality, and therefore file size, and that's something I like a lot about it. Again, I would personally use something like WebM Video, but I know sometimes you'll work with people who insist on the old-school GIF format. GIF Gun will first make an MOV version of your project and then convert that into a GIF. Just in case you're wondering why there's an MOV file on your computer when it was supposed to be a GIF. Anyways, one of those techniques should help you make your GIF. Before you go, drop me a comment below and let me know if it's pronounced GIF or JIF. I'd love to know. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.